Uh, recently, we've been playing a really good all-around uh, football. Uh, we've been running the ball. Teams uh, have light numbers in the box. We've been throwing the ball. If they give us that. Uh, defensively, we've been, really been playing well. Um, I think that's going to be the key if we uh, want to keep making a run here. we got to keep doing everything well. We can't just rely on one aspect of our game. Yeah, Southwood, um, they're only giving up eight points a game. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of people talk about offense, but their defense has been really good this season. Uh, what has the coaching staff been stressing this week about what you have to do specifically against their defense to have a successful Friday night? Yeah, against any defense of their caliber, uh, the best we've seen all year, they're going to be fast, they're going to be strong, they're going to hit hard. And we just got to know and be ready to play a sharp game, play clean, uh, limit penalties, limit turnovers, and just do little things the right way if we want to have success. When you talk about the South Adams team, I think people will make the, the statement that uh, you don't ever, and a football team never wants to overlook an opponent. Mm -hmm. Because of what happened last season, I know you guys won't overlook anybody, especially in the playoffs. So how hungry and uh, is this team to make a postseason run, and how much do you think about okay, we've got to take this one game at a time, and it isn't just something you say, it's something that you live and breathe. Yeah, it's definitely um, a different mindset than last year. Um, we know, especially playing a team the caliber of Southwood, that, I mean, it's an every game thing. We're not, we're not thinking about winning three more games, we're thinking about winning one more game every week, and I think that's definitely the mentality of the team. How much do you look forward to a game like this? I mean, you're talking about... Uh, I can't remember if it was Coach or somebody from South Adams tweeted it out that these are the two winningest programs in the state of Indiana the last two years. I mean, this is kind of a – this is like a reason to play high school football. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you, don't, you don't get to play many games like this when you're in high school. I mean, two undefeated teams, top-ranked teams in the state. It's awesome. It's going to be super competitive. Uh, it's going to be a great game. We're looking forward to it. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about uh, Friday night heading over to Sherman Wagner Field to take on the night? I'm really uh, mainly looking forward to just – Quality opponent, great, great uh, competition. Um, just a team that will really push us, and we have to play our best to win. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. What is it that you try to carry over here uh, into this week um, that you've done well in weeks past? Um, in weeks past, we've been really doing a good job of limiting our turnovers, limiting our penalties, and uh, we've been moving the ball really well as well. So um, I think if we limit turnovers, limit penalties, and uh, just our offense is firing, defense is firing, I think we'll have a good shot tomorrow. Um, let's talk about offense first. What is it that you guys have to do well offensively and that the coaches are, are stressing to you um, to combat what Southwood does well defensively? What do you have to do well on offense? Um, Southwood has a pretty tough front seven, so if we're going to be able to run the ball on them, that's going to be tough. So I think we need to come out passing the ball well to, uh, to combat that. And if we can run the ball as well, that would be awesome. Um, defensively, what do you do to slow them down? I mean, I'm sure you saw the tape against Adam Central. They really ran the ball well with Elijah Sutton in the second half. That was really the difference in the game. Um, what do you do well to corral what they do? Because obviously Spark can pass it too. Uh, yeah, so our corners, we're really going to have to be locked in this week. We know Alex Farr is one of the best quarterbacks we've played all year. So our corner is going to have to be locked in to shut him down. And uh, he's also a pretty capable runner. So this whole team needs to be locked in, try to shut them down. How... Um, because last year you didn't make the postseason run that you wanted to, how yeah. much juice does that give you guys going forward? And how much easier in a certain way is it to focus? Because you know uh, we can't just overlook anyone. Like this this could end any minute, and you guys yeah. don't want that to happen. Uh, that gives us so much juice. Um, last year we thought we had a pretty talented group and obviously ended earlier than we wanted to. So uh, this year we're taking nothing for granted. This is our senior year. Um, we're going to come out giving everything we got. We're not going to make a mistake like we did last year. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about Friday's game? I mean, it doesn't get a lot better than this. It, yeah, it really doesn't. It's going to be a little bit cold, but hopefully the wind and the rain will stay away. So I'm just looking forward to playing a good team, hopefully having a close game. Good deal. I appreciate it. We have an incredible senior class, a very special class that we've been talked about here in this community for a long time coming up uh, through the years, and the, and the leaders have been absolutely incredible. I mean, they're very talented. More than that, they have an incredible work ethic, um, great leadership, and, and they're great kids, too, from great families. So this is obviously a goal we've had to win regional. Still kind of a sour taste in our mouth from last year because Adam Central got upset. Um, so we made it this far, and, and we're happy we made it this far, but obviously we want to win tomorrow night, and we're going to face a foe we haven't seen anything like uh, this year. They're, they have incredible speed, um, and they're very, they're very disciplined, and, and they, they come hard. So it's going to be a fun game. Yeah, what is it about Southwood that you're preaching to these guys? What did you see on tape, and what are some of the, the keys to slowing them down, uh, both offensively and, and you know, 
their defense kind of gets overlooked, but it's been really good this year as well. Defensive, I think they're average. I think they're giving up maybe seven points a game, something like that, eight points a game. So they they have an incredible defense too. They have two very very fast defensive ends. So we have uh, our, our two senior tackles, Big Hearn and, and, and Carter Lewis, are gonna have a huge night, uh, giving James time to throw. And then they have very fast DBs. They have a very good safety in Sutton, the guy that had for 200 yards rushing last week as well against Adam Central. So it's gonna be a, a big matchup with our offensive line, giving James time and our receivers making plays downfield against a very fast defensive backfield. And then again, their offense is tough. Their quarterback can run the ball. He's had 20 touchdown passes on the year. Uh, you saw Sutton explode last week, and they have two really good receivers as well. So, again, it's going to be just uh, speed on speed, which should be fun for us because we haven't faced anyone really that kind of speed that we'll see tomorrow night yet. How, how palpable is, like, the hunger for this team? Because I know people always worry about teenagers maybe overlooking somebody when there's sure. a bigger goal <clears throat> at hand or a bigger goal that can be attainable. Based on last year, um, you guys know not to do that, I think. Yeah. Not that that was necessarily the case. Adam Central played really well. They had a good game plan and all that good stuff. Mm. Um, but how palpable is it um, that these guys are just uber-focused for a game yeah. like this? Th there's weeks where I would lie if I said I didn't worry about that. Um, games where we should be where the obvious favorite, but they've proven every single week the maturity they come out from the start and handle business. Now this again, like I said, is going to be the best team we've played in all aspects of it, in all facets of the game. So again, I think I think they're excited to. I mean, our our, our ones have, have played in, in the third quarter twice this year, so they want to play a full game. They want they want a close game and. And uh, so they're, they're excited, I think, for that and what it looks like when we get in a close game. We've talked about adversity. If we go down 7-0, 14-0, what it looks like to respond to that. We haven't been in a situation yet this year. So uh, we're just excited, again, for, for a great ball game. And it's going to be one of those things where it's a small school atmosphere. Uh, nothing like being from a, a small community where there's so much support for these guys and this football team. Uh, I get so many texts and calls after every game about just congratulations. And there's so many guys, people that follow this team and these guys. Uh, so it's, it's great to have 1A football, two great, fast, hard-hitting teams. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to this opportunity? Because I think you tweeted it out or your, your account tweeted yeah. it out. Um, these are, not counting Elkhart, uh, yeah. over the past two years in the I state of Indiana, yeah. these have the two best winning percentage, like 23-1 and one and 22-1. and one. I mean, this is like, this is high school football. Yeah. This is what you play and this is what you coach for. You're absolutely game. right. That's, uh, so I'm usually nervous most games, and now I'm, I'm not even nervous. I'm just so excited because this is exactly what you want, you dream about, get, being in a game like this where you just said right there, we have the two most winningest programs in Indiana over the last two years with Southwood and South Adams, 23-1 and one and 22-1. and one. So you couldn't ask for much more of this. I think it's ranked, it was number one in the state, was number three in the state. You couldn't ask for much more. It's just a perfect atmosphere uh, where it's going to be two great teams, and it's, it's something that you coach for and that you play for, and our, our kids are just so jacked for a chance to, to win a regional, be a third regional in South Adams history.